I haven't always looked after myself. After I left school, I got into a few bad habits. I was smoking and I was overweight. I ate what I wanted, when I wanted, but my lifestyle wasn't good for me or my health. Now I'm a pro cyclist, riding for Team Novo Nordisk, the world's first all-diabetes pro cycling team. But cycling hasn't always been a part of my life. At university, I wasn't doing any exercise at all, but that all changed when I moved in with a triathlete. We'd pass on the stairs, me coming in from a night out and him heading out for training. One day, my now wife made a comment about the physique of a triathlete on TV, and being competitive, I told her I could do that. So I did. Three months later, I completed my first triathlon. It was only when I ended up in hospital after struggling in a race that I was diagnosed. I thought about quitting altogether, but my friends weren't going to let that happen. So I took control. For me, being fit and healthy is a massive part of managing my diabetes. And diet is obviously critical too. I get up early and eat a healthy breakfast. It's crucial to help me perform on the bike. Living a healthy lifestyle isn't just important for professional athletes, it's important for everyone, whether you have diabetes or not. It isn't always easy, but even small changes help. Some people see the city as an obstacle to being healthy, but I don't agree. It's all about opportunity and making healthy choices that fit with your lifestyle. It's easy to fall into an unhealthy lifestyle, but it's all out there if you just change your mindset. Cycle lanes, parks, gyms, or even just the road. Everyone needs to do it their way, but healthier choices are always an option. I managed to find my own way to a healthier life. What's my advice to others? Find your own inspiration. Make exercise and healthy choices part of your life and set small, achievable goals. Together, we can make a difference and change the future of diabetes.